Hi, I'm Chef Chris Ivans Brown. I'm going to show you a spin on the truly traditional dish of veal salt and bruca, but I'm going to be using wahoo, served with linguine and a little lemon butter sauce. Okay, so I have my wahoo. Wahoo is indigenous to Hawaii, off the western coast of the United States as well, where the, you know, the chefs can't get hold of mahi-mahi anymore. Uh, this is a great alternative. Uh, it's a beautiful flaky white fish with this deep blue skin on the outside. It's a beautiful fish and so underutilized. These things can grow up to 100 pounds in weight and they are troll caught. So I've actually cut down three nice little medallions and I'm actually gonna put them through a zippy lock bag. You can use cling film. Uh, I'm gonna pound them out, put some fresh prosciutto ham, a little fresh sage. It's gonna be served with linguine. Here's my linguine. And when cooking pasta, you need to make sure that the water's boiling constantly, seasoned of course, and a little drop of olive oil, and in goes the pasta. And it'll drop down and move itself within the water naturally. And it's important not to overcook your pasta. You need to cook it to al dente. Al dente is to a bite, and it goes into an ice bath. And very important point to take, do not leave it in the ice water. It has to cool so it stops the cooking process. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my wahoo, put it in my zippy lock bag, and just pound it out just lightly. All that pent up frustration. Like so. I'm gonna repeat that with all three pieces of fish. Okay, so I've pounded out lightly my fish. Uh, reason being, obviously, the true traditional reel, a scallop is very thin, so it cooks very quickly. So I've repeated the same process. Now, I've got my prosciutto ham. I'm just gonna lay that inside each one. Now I'm gonna put my sage on inside each one. Then I'm gonna roll them up. Once I've rolled them up, I'm gonna secure them with a wooden skewer. Okay, so I need to get my pan hot with a little olive oil. And I've got some seasoned flour here. I'm just gonna uh, dust the flour just oh so lightly. You don't want to dump the fish into the flour so it picks up all the flour, put the flour on your hands and fish. This is seasoned flour. So, and then goes my fish away from me again and I get a nice golden brown color on it, like so. When my fish is cooking away, I drain my pasta and I've tossed a little olive oil in it just to stop it from sticking. Then we'll be ready to put the dish together. Okay, so I've got some lovely golden brown on one side and I've added a couple of knobs of butter. I'm gonna remove the skewers because they've now held their shape. And I've got to turn the heat down a little bit as well. Okay, so about three or four minutes and they can cook through. Put them in my dish here. And remember when cooking fish, it's always better to cook fish underdone because the residual heat will continue the cooking process. There we go. I'm gonna get my pan. It's got all that glorious flavor in it. Discard, discard the... Uh, extra, and now I'm gonna do the butter sauce, butter into the same pan. I got lemon zest, parsley, just a few sage leaves as well, and lemon juice. Now you want a nice burn noisette, a nutty brown butter with that tangy citrus lemon and a delicate parsley. So my pasta, nice and al dente, absolutely glorious, salt, pepper, and I'm done. Roasting fork. Into the dish we go, like so. And I've got some fried sage leaves here, just to toss on top. And I'm probably gonna drizzle just a little bit of the residual butter just to finish the dish off. Serve that with a beautiful salad. And there we go. Wahoo salt and bruca with sage and lemon linguine.